some audio. Let's, uh, see what I was doing. Alright, clearly I already researched something. Um, uh, being attacked here... And it's probably... Actually, you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that I'm being attacked there, because I will do this. Boom, and we will do this. Oh, wait, I moved them all already. Well, I guess I won't do that then. <laughs> I guess I will suffer an attack. Uh, I'll get rubble... Eventually, I mean, you know. At some point, I'll get that back. I realize that I got other stuff to do, so... You know, I'll still get it. I don't... I don't really know what the significance of having it is, though. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember at all. Um, I guess I'll do another one of her scenes, because I'm in doubt of whether or not I need to. But, uh, it's all in Japanese, as you may have noticed, so I went ahead and skipped that. Um, Alright, this is important. This is, uh, Reiti is attacking the UHOS now. Because her goal is still Universal Conquest, even though she's allied with Japan and Italy. I don't think she intends to take them over. She just intends to... Well, I mean... As long as they interact with her properly, I guess it's fine. Uh, I don't know. Um, in the game it's called Operation Barbarossa, and it was called it in real life too, when Hitler decided to stop attacking Britain and go full force into Russia. He was allied with Russia up until that point, so it was like a massive betrayal issue kind of thing that Stalin kind of assumed would happen at some point, I guess. Um, anyway, it was really bad for Russia at, at the beginning of the operation. It was just, they lost so much land as a country, and then it got halted at, what, I think Leningrad and Stalingrad. Um, but it was a really big turning point in the war because Hitler... I mean, it happens in the game, too, I'm pretty sure. Um, they just come to a big stall, mostly because of the cold weather. So, it's really interesting. Anyway, uh, but it's sad. I feel bad for Raytia, you know, in the game. Because, they're you know, they're doing so well, and then stuff just goes badly. And it's still all Mussolini's fault ultimately, and she won't ever own up to it because she's retarded, so... I mean, it's just the worst feeling in the world when you... Ah, oh, get screwed over completely by someone who's got Downs or some other stupid problem. Like, they don't even have... People with Down Syndrome are smarter than the person you got screwed over by. And they don't even acknowledge that they screwed you over. That is the worst, okay? I'm just telling you. It's the worst. Um... But yeah, this scene goes on for a while. There might be another one next turn. Um... Because it's a lot. And it's like, uh... I don't know which turn Raytia's forces start getting pushed back from their territories, but it's basically triggers with this. Um... The UHOS in the game is pretty strong. They're kind of gimmicky, too. Like... You will never go into the UHOS territories in this game and have just smooth sailing. Like, what I'm going to do to the colonies, to the Ares colonies, you can just BAM, BAM, BAM. You know, one right after the other, no problem, take them. Uh, sure they might have, like, some anti-laser stuff, or, uh, you know, later on there are sandstorms, but that's a different thing. Um, but the UHOS just throws so much bullshit at you, it's like... Ugh. And a lot of it's optional, too, so I shouldn't say that you're forced to deal with it, but there's a lot of crap up there, which we'll see much later on, most likely. Um, they may very well be the last faction that I take over, uh, to be honest with you. It tends to work out that way. Uh, usually in a playthrough when I don't want to do that, I have to try hard not to save them for last. And obviously I'm not going to do any experimental stuff super experimental stuff when I'm recording, that would be bad. I mean, I don't mind screwing around here and there, though. R-planes. Alrighty. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't really know. I'm not very good with dates, I guess. A lot of people aren't. Um, I just know that Germany, at some year, 
<laughs> decided to attack Russia, and they took a large portion of... Well, I say a large... Well, it was a large portion. I mean, Russia's massive, though. Anyway, uh... Yeah, it just talks more about Raytia's character, and it builds more on Raytia's character. Again, I will point this out, it builds more on Raytia's character than it does Togo's character. Putting that out there, even though you are Togo in this game. It just seems confusing to me, I don't... I mean, does anyone agree? Please, let me know if you agree in the comments. Like, I, I like having Raytia's character developed, but there are no Japanese people in this game, which is who you play as that gets any development of any kind. Like, it's just, it's so weird. It's so weird to me. In Daibancho, it's Roga and his chosen heroine or heroines. Plenty of development. Plenty of, hey, I care about these people, you know? There are plenty of opportunities for you to care about them. In Sengoku Rants, even though you might not like Rance, you still kind of care about how Syl feels about him, right? Because Syl's totally innocent and nice. So, maybe you don't like Rance, but there's the Syl aspect to it. In this game, it's just, here's Togo. And I mean, when you come over to Raytia, you get to see way more, and it's a lot better in general. Um, I mean, there's just, there are more dimensions to this character, and... Even her friends are more interesting than Togo's friends. Like, you know. I mean, aren't you more intrigued by Goebbels than you are fucking Maki? I'm sure you are. Though, okay, you know what? Let me dial it back. Even though I complain about Togo, this is like the third part that I've complained about him. It's important to note that he has, like, a route where his dead wife comes back. Well, I'm sure that in that route there's way more development. Okay, I gotta throw that out there because I was neglecting that this entire time. And I'm, I'm assuming, I'm not positive that there's more development in that route. Knowing Alisoft, there may not be, but, you know, I'm going to assume that most of Togo and Maki's stuff comes from that route. That would make sense to me. Um, I've never done it. I don't even know if it's translated, so I'll put that on the table, too. Such as... Well, I mean, that's just how it goes when the game's in Japanese, mostly. Uh, but I haven't been paying much attention to this scene, uh, because I was ranting. <laughs> My bad, guys. Um, I guess I'll just let it go, though. I mean, why not? I like looking at Raytheon. She's... Entrancing. My god. It's wonderful. Um, I want a Raytia poster. I was gonna get a Raytia figure, but it's just too expensive. What a shame. What a shame. She has like two figures, a bikini and then her idol uniform. I don't think she has one in her military uniform. Though, that's probably not gonna be made. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool, it would be the best one, in my opinion, but... Whatever, um... We'll move on. I think I already expressed my love for, like, Nazi architecture and design, right? Um... Some of the stuff the Nazis had was really impressive, I guess I'll talk about that later, too. Even though I, I've been putting it off for a while, haven't I? It's just kind of awkward to talk about it during this, this scene, because why? Um... Whatever. No, I don't need anti-missile. Uh... Where is fucking old man? Oh, I don't have old man here. Shit, guys. That is no good. Um... Hmm. Like, it didn't have to be that way, audio, but it did. 
I want to make sure that my important admirals can move next turn. So, when they wipe out people like Ryzo, I don't give a fuck, because I don't intend to field him in... I don't actually recall what territory I'm headed to, but anyway. I just want to have people like Togo available for that, and uh... This isn't good. Well, actually, no, it'll be fine. I can still defend. Um, I guess I'll wipe out this guy, won't I? I don't have a choice, so... Uh, And more UHOS stuff. Um, this is Catherine's bedroom. And in the background, you can't see it now because, uh, well, her friend's there in the way. But, and I forgot her friend's name too this whole time. Mirja? Mirha? I don't know how it would be pronounced. Um, probably why I didn't remember it. But uh, they have this snowman thing in the background. And whenever I look at it, I can't help but think of the Super Mario 64 snow snowman world. I just had to put it out there because it looks exactly like that. I don't know what the fuck. So. I mean, it's the first thing that comes to mind whenever I think of UHOS, which is not good, but it's what happens. And I couldn't mention it until now because you didn't have a visual aid. And you don't really know because this girl's hand is blocking it. But, whatever. Um, I don't know if it says Catherine's age. Um... I don't know if it says their age at all. So, you know, and, and then again, it, does it even matter? You gotta, there's a lot more going on. And this guy is Zukov, that's his name. That's his fucking name, Zukov, okay? I forgot his name until this part, and I looked it up before this too. It doesn't matter. Anyway, he was pretty much the best general in World War II for Russia. Pretty much. I mean, they had, a, they had several, um... But he was the most well-known one. He's a really bad dude. Um, but I think, I think, much like Rommel, even though he was with an army that was considered pretty mean, he was a good guy. You know what I mean? I'm not positive about that, but I remember Zukov being a mostly good guy. Um, Stalin had him killed, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he got killed, and, uh... And uh, it was like another purge, wasn't it? I don't remember the specifics. I know that up to World War II, um, I'm almost positive about this. I might be wrong, but I don't mind saying it even if I am wrong. I'm almost positive. Someone will correct me in any case. And I know this happened in Russian history. I just don't know exactly when. I think it was before World War II. There was a great purge of like the military caste. A lot of the generals were killed off. Um, and executed. Uh, and I think that had to do with the reforms going into Soviet Russia. Like before it was Soviet Russia. I don't remember what it was called or anything. Um, now that he's brought up, I don't remember what he is. He might even be a missile guy too. I'm saying that a lot of people are missile admirals and I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I think he is, so... I mean, like, I said Raytia was a Missile Admiral. She's not. That's just how I prefer to use her. Um, so, I mean, it's been a while since I played the game, obviously. Some Admirals that I haven't obtained recently, if I use them primarily as a Missile Unit in the past, then I'm going to think of them as a Missile Unit now, even if they're not, but, you know. That's all good. Uh, to be honest, though, I have no idea what, like, Lawrence is. Though I'm almost positive he's a laser unit. Um, Montgomery, I have no idea what he is. I have no idea what most of the Ares people are. Because I have never really recruited any of them. I've actually recruited Catherine and Mirja, but... I've never recruited most of the Ares people. So I figured I'd put that out there real quick. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the uh, non-aggression thing. The UHOS. Uh, hmm. I haven't really thought about that much. In the past, uh, I was actually talking to someone in Steam about this recently, very recently, which is weird, that it would happen so quickly. Maybe he knew. He had more foresight than I did. Um, 
Anyway, I uh, in the past I would automatically decline because I was like, no, Reiti is my waifu. I have to protect her. I have to go save her in Germany. Get out of my way, you HOS. But then I realized that it has no impact on the game, so I just started accepting their peace treaty. <laughs> Which, you know, does that make things less interesting to watch? I've I've often wondered that, you know? Like, I've been, I've been working on recording Dark Souls, and I'm not gonna detract from the game that much here, but I know the game so fucking well. Like, does it ruin people's interest in watching if you don't take risks or explore certain things. I'm almost positive it does. I don't like watching people do the same thing 800 times. And me knowing in this game, Daitekoku, which options trigger which events, and what is the safest route 100% of the time, is that less interesting? I'm almost positive it is. But I also think that a lot of the people who watch this stuff don't necessarily know what I'm doing. So, I mean... Declining doesn't really do that much from a viewing perspective, I guess, because I'm just going to get attacked by shitty Russian fleets until I deal with them. I'm not going to attack them for 20 turns at least, so it would be pointless for me to go to war with them. It would be like the American Scout Fleet. You know. I mean, if someone's really experienced with the game and they're watching someone who's new at the game and... They're like, no, I'm not going to agree to the non-aggression pact. And then they get war declared on them. And they're like, oh, shit, man. I just, you know, and they give this really dynamic reaction. Like, oh, no, the UHOS is after me. Oh, what do I do? And then they try to scramble some fleets around up there. And then they get hit with snowstorms. And they're like, oh, fuck, I can't do anything because of the snowstorms. How do I handle this? And then they start losing colonies. This way more interesting, probably. But unfortunately... I already know too much about the game, and I'm not going to fall victim to that. So, sincere apologies, I guess. It's just one of those things. I guess it's a big difference between a blind playthrough and one that you know. And that's why I usually try to be informative. Yes. I think I said that well. Oh, and I don't think I talked about Ugaki at all. Uh, he has... He can be made into a decent admiral. I'll talk more about that later because I think this dialogue is almost done, which means the part will be done too, but I mean, I've never done it. I just know that he can become a good admiral. He turns into like a robot. Uh, I don't even know how to go about doing it, to be perfectly honest with you. So, you know, that's whatever. I, that basically means I won't be doing it. Um, I would like to get a certain green off-road spaceman, if anyone knows who I'm talking about, but... That's another thing entirely, because it's in the UHOS, and I don't know when I'm going there. So anyway, 